Magandang araw, mga mapumuti at uh, magagaling kong estudyante. Our topic for for this video tutorial ay uh, paano mag-compute ng loan amortization uh, using Excel. So, una, simulan muna natin unawain ano ba ibig sabihin ng amortization. So, Amortization is an accounting technique used to periodically lower the book value of a loan or intangible asset over a period uh, of time. In relation to a loan, amortization focuses on spreading out loan payments over time. So, ibig sabihin, uh, using the loan amortization schedule, makikita natin uh, every time na tayo ay nagbabayad ng ating uh, loan payments, na no? bumababa yung uh, book value ng loan. Ibig sabihin, nababayaran natin. Kaya lang, uh, kapag pinag-usapan natin ay amortization, ang unang pumapasok sa isip okay, ng isang student ay it has to be equal periodic payment. na no? Equal siya. So, Madali lang to pag gagamitin natin sa Excel. So sa Excel gagamit tayo ng tatlong function, no? The PMT function or the payment function that is how to calculate the equal periodic payment and then may tinatawag na uh, PPMT function and that is to calculate the principal part of the payment and then also yung IPMT. IPMT function is used to calculate the interest part of the payment. So, diretso na tayo sa ating example kung paano mag-compute ng tinatawag na loan amortization schedule. So, in this example, the loan amount, kunyari, uutang tayo ng 20,000, okay? Or magpapautang tayo ng uh, 20,000, no? either way. So, eh, ganito yung paggawa ng schedule ng loan amortization. So, Kung may 5% na interest rate, okay, it is the APR or the annual percentage rate. Tapos uh, uh, it will have a two years no? na, na panahon ng kanyang maturity. And of course, ang gusto mangyari ay 12 per year. Ibig sabihin, pag 12, that is monthly. Kapag ang payments per year dyan ay 4, that is quarterly. No? Pag 2, yan ay uh, semi-annual. So in this scenario, ang uh, gustong uh, payments natin per year ay 12. Ibig sabihin, every month magbabayad tayo. Okay? Equal periodic payment, monthly. So, uh, bago yan, we have to establish first the, uh, the header of our table. So meron kang period payment number, the payment, okay, ito na yung, yung tinatag na R. Siya rin yung tinatawag na, na uh, equal periodic payment. And you have the principal. Uh, ito yung uh, nababayaran mong principal every time na ikaw ay nagbabayad. And then you have also the interest. Okay, yung interest na nababayaran every time na nagbabayad tayo. And then magkano yung natitarang balance every time we are also paying or we are being collecting kasi dalawa nga ito, di ba? Either we are the debtor or we are the the creditor. So it works both ways. So una muna, simulan natin sa payment number. Ang tanong, ilan, ilan ba yung payment na number natin? Una, ang years natin ay two years, no? And then for two years, we have to pay... 12 times per year. So therefore, ilan na yun? So, ang lalabas, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, 24 payments. Kasi, di ba, sa isang taon ay tinatawag na 12 payments. So, we have 24 now. Kasi nga, good for 2 years yan. Okay? And then, um, to compute for the payment, ang formula natin, Equals nyo lang, okay, PMT, 
and then uh, close and open parenthesis 0 0.05, which is 5%. Divide nyo sa 12, which is of course per year, and then um, comma, and then two years multiplied by 12 months, then comma, then yung present value or yung tinatawag na loan amount. So that is our loan amount, which is 20,000. Then enter mo lang. So, ayan ang ating magiging equal periodic payment. Okay, 877.43. We are required to pay every month no? sa pangungutang natin ng 20,000. And then, how to get the, the principal? So, using the second formula, PPMT equals PPMT, close and open parenthesis, 0 0.05 or 5% divided by 12, comma. And then ang susunod natin ay kunin natin yung period number, which is in this case yung 1 or A12. Then comma, then 2 years multiplied by 12 months, and then the, the loan amount. Okay, then enter. So ito ang ating principal, which is 794.09. So ang payment natin ay monthly payment natin sa loan natin na 20,000 ay 877.43. At every time na tayo nagbabayad ng 877.43, ang principal na nababayaran natin out of that payment ay 794. And then, of course, to compute for the interest naman, so using the formula I, PMT, then close and open parenthesis, 0 0.05 or 5%, and then divided by 12, then comma, oh, balikan natin yung ating tinatawag na period number, and then comma, 2 times 12 again, then the loan amount. And then, okay, so ang interest natin, uh, na nababayaran din o nabayaran natin interest ay 83.33 for the first uh, period. And then to compute for the balance, okay, so to compute for the balance, so we have 20,000 as our loan amount. I minus na lang natin yan sa uh, principal, okay? So you got, uh, uh, sorry, since hindi natin yan pwede i-minus, Dahil naka-negative yung sign ng principal, i-plus natin. Okay, so ang nangyari, 20,000 uh, minus uh, 794. So yun yung pinaka, ano, ano. Kaya lang formula ko, instead na uh, minus, ginawa ko ng plus kasi naka-negative yung principal dito. Kasi repayment nga natin yan. Ano? Anyway, so 19,205.91. So since may formula na ito, no? Pwede na natin yan ibaba. Una muna, unang, yung second row muna. Okay, bakit? Kasi I need to use this one sa balance. Okay, yung, yung balance ng first row minus sa, oh sorry, I have to use the positive again para mag-minus siya na. Minus uh, 797.40. So I have this one. So nakompleto ko na yung second row. Yung second row, pwede ko na yan i-drag down. Okay. So, pag drag down natin, oh, para malaman natin na tama yung ginawa natin amortization schedule, yung total sa pinakabalance sa on the 24th payment natin sa ating loan, dapat zero na yung ating balance. Ibig sabihin, wala na tayong uh, utang because we already have paid on the 24th payment. So, that's it. So, ito ang ating loan amortization schedule. Okay. So, I hope uh, naka- Pagbigay ako ng konting kaalaman for this. Thank you and uh, uh, see you on the next uh, uh, tutorial natin.